Okay, this is a simple demonstration of the Fiora Video Textures um, resource for Talk 3D 1.1. This here is a test object for the, um, for the video stuff where simply um, a video texture is mapped to each side of a cube and because the video is not playing what you see is black cube because at that moment there is no texture. What you need to set that up is pretty simple. First you need one of these Theora texture objects which is the video playback controller basically. What it does is it, it sets up a name texture target which you can then reference in the material and it references the actual video file. So that's the um, name of the texture target which you can then reference in the material and um, that's the video file that is uh, going to be playbacked, uh, played back. And the name here for the texture target needs to be unique among um, the uh, all named texture targets, basically. There are a couple of other texture targets uh, in use by the system. Um, and if you have multiple video textures, um, you would have to assign a unique name to each one of, the, uh, of those. So the other thing is... Um, uh, the other thing that you need is a material that actually uses that aim texture target, which um, is that material here in my test case. And it's just mapped to each side of that cube. And um, here in the diffuse map, it references um, the name texture target, which is set up by the uh, the or texture object. Um, a texture target in the in a map channel is identified by that hash sign here, and after that comes the name uh, of the the name texture target. So that's pretty much anything there is to add to to set that up. Um, Playbook will not start autom automatically at the moment. You need to do it um, in script code somewhere. You need to explicitly trigger the the, the playback of the video texture. So let me just quickly do that in the console here. And you see now the, the video plays um, on all the faces of the cube. That's Elephant's Dream here uh, by Blender Foundation. You probably know the movie. I'm not sure you, if you can hear it in the video, but there's also a sound here, of course. Um, let me stop that because it gets real loud here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, one one thing is um, the 3D position, of course, of the sound is not really synchronized here. So it just plays back by default as 2D audio. If you want to ha actually have it as positional audio and you, you would have to do that manually and then use a custom 3D sound description and manually update the position and orientation of the sound source um, but other than that um, yeah that's pretty much it videos on textures